All right, hi everybody. Me again. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Uh, okay, I'm just going to explain something here. I'm using, I'm using 200 watts from the wall, and I'm getting 600 and around 40 watts. I'm only using around 200. That's about it because the VFD controller at 300 at 400 Hertz it takes 400 watts I'm only at around 67 Hertz that's not even half but I'm saying around 200 just to be a little bit over now I have a 950 watt uh, generator over there slash pump it's hooked up to a induction three-phase wash machine motor that is connected to the variable frequency drive that is plugged into the power cord that is plugged into the wall. So I'm using the VFD to plug to run the wash machine motor that spins the generator and the generator outputs 950 watts. But we all know that generators don't, they don't pull out the exact same amount of wattage especially these 950 watt generators they only push out about I'd say about 500 and all depends on what you're using all depends they're really good with lights they're really good with computers and laptops uh, you know some small appliances like some drills by themselves though right and stuff like that so I'm running I'm running right now and also too I got a battery hooked up to the generator that the output of the generator has a DC output that goes to the battery and the battery goes to the inverter as you can see on the ground it's uh, an inverter is hooked up to uh, the drill a drill and also a light bulb both these light bulbs are 150 watts apiece one light bulb is hooked to the the inverter and one light bulb is hooked up to the generator and there's a fan also too that is spinning as you can see it's going around and around and that's hooked up to the generator so total I have around 640 watts that I'm actually uh, that I'm running and I'm only getting 200 and I'm only using 200 from the wall I know you guys don't believe me but I thought I'd actually have this on right now while I was talking and I'm going to go through the pace and I'm going to actually show you what's going on. Now, is this not over unity or not? Because if this is not over unity, then I don't know what is, right? I do not know what what is. And if you don't believe me, you can go online and search on Amazon on the VFD controller, variable frequency drive controller that I have. And you can find out how many watts they are. And you can find out on how much a... Um, induction three-phase wash machine motor is you can see and at what speed it rotates at because I'm going at about 3600 rpm maybe a little bit over I'm only going at 67 um, Hertz right if I was going at uh, 400 Hertz it'd be going at about 16,000 revolutions per minute which I'm not okay I don't need to go that fast so you can do you can do your research also that way too right I know that I'm not kidding around here. So, I'm going to show you first. I'm going to show you first that look at the inverter. Right? Okay. So, we're going to turn on the drill. Turn on the drill. Actually, the two lights are plugged in the generator. So, we already got that. 350, 150, 150, plus the uh, with the fan spinning up over there. That's another 40 watts. So it's three, uh, 300, 340 right there. Okay, so it's 340 right there, and then plus the 270 from the drill that's hooked up. Well, it says 250. Yeah, so 250. So 
right? Let's plug the radio in also. For uh for the uh shoots and giggles. Let's plug the radio in. I gotta do this one hand. Radio's on. I say to you guys, and this is the VFD controller. induction motor all right so let's turn this all off am I not uh, am I not am I not getting more than what I'm putting in you tell me you tell me if I'm not getting more than what I'm not putting in I mean am I not getting more than what I'm using. Is this not over unity? I thought I'd do this little video here for you guys. That way you guys would understand something. Um, I'm working on a couple other tests. But I thought I'd come back to this. Right here. I thought I'd come back to this right here. I'm not going to show you what I'm working on. Um, you know just right now. But I'm working on a few other things. Okay. It's very, it's, uh, it's just, uh, you know, like mind blowing, uh, really mind blowing. But I want you to actually like see this video and see that it is achievable, right? It is achievable to use just a little bit and make a lot more, right? Make a lot more. Now, remember, if I had a bigger, you know, generator, that's only 950 watts. There's other ones out there that you can buy a 3,000 watt generator and you can use that 3,000 watt generator, right? <laughs> and then just figure, uh, uh, now you're starting off with 3,000, right? 3,000 watts coming out of that generator. Not, not, not 950, right? 3,000, okay? And you can use about 2,000 of that. No problem. And just run the same kind of motor, right? Run the same kind of motor. Or even a different motor. And use whatever you got. And whatever you're using from the wall. And you got. More. Wattage coming out of the 2000 watt. Generator or 3000 watt generator. And then you got the battery. And you got the inverter. Even if you're using 400 out of the wall. And you're making 2500. Minus the 400. You're still making 2000. Extra. So I just wanted to show you this and uh, see what you guys think. Leave me a comment. Leave me some thumbs up. Uh, let me know what you guys think. And I've got uh, some new videos coming up very, very soon. I had to get some of these other videos out of the way because I wanted to get them out of the way with the energy box. The, um, the uh, emergency Crack out box also to the uh, wood burning stove needed to get those out of the way uh, You know because these are very uh, they're, We're living in a time right now. That's you know, pretty You know, it's unpredictable. You know what I mean? So I mean that wood burning stove was really it's Something else. You know what I mean? I mean everybody should have one and if you don't know what I'm talking about Please look at some of my other videos on on my channel. 
have lots of I don't have lots I have you know a, a big handful I got about seven or eight videos on there so uh, yeah a lot of people also too right 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 a lot of people are asking me hey how do you build this how do you build this how do you build this you know I've got about five or six videos right you know showing you know more or less right okay look see look you got brackets here brackets with bolts nuts washers screws right you know you're bolting you know down this you know everybody's asking what kind of motor you got what kind of motor you got i keep on mentioning it all the time right it's a wash machine motor right it's an induction you know it's a uh not an induction it's a uh it's a uh, three phase induction motor i believe it is yeah right and here's the specs right here man right they come out of a washing machine right look it's a three phase right one two three and these ones actually go to the uh the uh that goes to the uh tachometer right three phase one blue white and red and these little tiny ones are over here they go to the t uh, tachometer right over here right that the wash machine uses for the speed and look three wires going to the three phase variable frequency drive controller right and this is just a generator right i removed everything i removed the gas tank removed the gas tank removed the motor parts all the assembly of the motor right and this is the shaft right here and i just connected this shaft from the motor to this shaft of the wash machine I made sure it was nice and straight all that stuff also too with some l brackets and some bolts washers nuts screws i got a piece of wood right put it through bolt it all down make sure it was all nice and solid and even you know this was nice and even in here right put a little fan on it that way it can cool down the motor when it was spinning right because these things get really hot because it's pushing this right we know it's got a lot of load on it it's going to get hot without a fan blowing anything on you it's going to be you know burning up so you want that right washers bolts screws you know like bolts nuts all that stuff i mean you know you know, people are asked, how do you do it? How do you do it? How do you do it? And I don't see anything. And they're not even doing anything in the first place. They're just asking, how do you do it? Let's say, well, have you done anything in the first place at all? No, not really. They're just asking. You're just asking questions, right? Saying, well, you know, I don't really have that much time to be, uh, uh, um, you know, showing people, uh, you know, how to put a bolt and screw together, right? I mean, a bolt and a screw. If you don't know how to, if you don't know how to go out and get a bolt, and some washers and some nuts and some L brackets and even get a board. Well, then, uh, you know, I can't help you. I cannot help you, right? At least go get a board, you know, go get the wash machine motor, right? Go get the generator, you know, start taking it apart, right? Oh, and these are hose and this is a hose clamp right here, right? With hose clamps. Look, they're hose clamps, right? One, two, three, one on the side, one in the middle. And one down over here, right? And this is just the hose, right? That I attached. That you can you can do this many ways, right? You can do this many many ways, many ways. The pulley, you put it on a pulley where it goes around. You don't even have to do it like this. You put it on a pulley. Put a pulley. Uh, uh, put a pulley on here. Put a pulley on there with a belt, and that's it. And uh, you know, like this is spinning this, and that's it. You can do it that way too. Many ways, but you're going to need to go get, you're going to need to start with the generator, right? Remove everything from the generator and actually remove the motor from the wash machine motor. Or go buy one off of a friend or off a dealer place or whatever it may be. But you need to start somewhere, okay? And if you cannot, like what I said, if you cannot find a bolt and a washer and screws and nuts and L brackets and a piece of wood, I can't help you, okay? Because, you know... Or, you know, get somebody else to, you know, that knows what they're, you know, that will be able to do it for you. So, yeah. Uh, so, anyways, uh, you know, back to where we start off from over here is, uh, you know, this is possible. You know, is this not over unity or, is, or am I just talking out of my ears here? I do not think so. I do not think I'm talking out of my ears over here because I showed you. Showed you 100%, you know, I got, what was it, over 600, uh, what was the numbers, what was the numbers over here that I was looking at? Over 640 watts, and I'm only using 200, right? And that's just, and this is just a small demonstration, right? Just a small demonstration with a smaller, with a smaller generator, right? And like what I said, 
If this was a 3,000 watt generator, well, yeah, we'd be pushing out for sure 1,500 out of here, guaranteed. And that's only half of the load. That's only half of the capacity of what that generator can actually uh, can push out. Half, 3,000, let's say 1,500. And with a 1,500 watt inverter, right? Maybe half of this too, right? So we're pushing out at least 2,000 watts, you know, and we're only using 200. Or let's just, let's just bump it up even more. 400 watts. And we're getting 2,000? Like, is that not over unity? You know, and if you don't believe me, well, then you start doing your tests yourself, right? Start, start doing the tests yourself. I'm just showing you what I'm learning, right? Showing you what I'm learning. I'm showing you my tests, right? I showed you it. Anyways, uh, so if you like this video, leave me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, let me know what you guys think, and if I'm lying, well, let me know if I'm lying, right? Let me know if I'm lying. Well, let's uh, let's run through again. Let's see, 66, okay. So 66. You saw it, 240 from the inverter, 300 from the light bulbs from the generator, plus the 40, plus the extra 20 some odd from the uh, radio. Right? 